me and my mom, we want him back. We do. We, we wouldn't be fighting this hard if we didn't. A day after we first told the story of Daniela Bazoko's effort to save her former pet Draco, WUSA 9 has learned new details about what could lead to the dog being euthanized. A plea to help the dog and keep him alive has now been shared hundreds of times on Facebook. But on Monday, the family who turned Draco into the Fairfax County Animal Shelter said the dog bit family members on three separate occasions and left them injured. In a text message, a family member wrote that a bite to his face just under his eye was quote completely unprovoked and left him with scars. The details surprised Daniela Bazoko, who owned Draco before the other family adopted him. It was so shocking because I was like even when my boyfriend would play with Draco, Draco never went near his hand. On Monday, the Fairfax County Animal Shelter also shed light on the case, saying the shelter had no input on the decision to classify the dog as dangerous. With the ruling made by the county court, the shelter said in a statement that due to public safety, quote, it is against county policy to release legally deemed dangerous dogs via adoption or transfer. With the dog now facing a euthanization in the coming days, Daniela Bazoko hopes something can be done to save Draco's life. We felt so much emotions and we were like, we don't know what's going to happen now. Tom Dempsey, WUSA 9.